eagle, spleen of lizard. Don't need a spell to get me here, darling. A mother's heart knows when her child needs her. <laughs> Mother, to say that you are impossible, willful and exasperating, does not begin to express how mad I am. Thank you. <laughs> Did Tabitha make the second grade? She's more apt to make the cover of time if you don't take that spell off. You want me to turn her into a dum-dum? Tabitha is not a dum-dum. She's a normal seven-year-old child who was worried about getting into the second grade. Oh, the thought of it sickens me. Mother, I know that deep down beneath all that mischief you mean well, but the mortal world just isn't ready for our kind, and until it is, we want Tabitha to lead a normal life. So please, take that spell off. Very well. Tabitha! Forgive her. She knows not what she makes me do. <laughs> Everything you know from A to Z, I hereby take away from thee. You'll know the things a child should know. But to your grandmama, it's quite a blow. <laughs> well, I'll be going. <laughs> Mrs. Peabody. Oh, I'm so glad to find you home, Mrs. Stevens. I want to talk to you about your daughter. I'm sorry, I'm a little busy, so... I'm busy too, Mrs. Stevens. Busy writing an article about your daughter. Article? For the Scholastic Monthly. One day, Mrs. Stevens, this could be a shrine. <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Mrs. Peabody, when you barge in here uninvited, you do a thing more courageous than you think. Forgive me, Mrs. Stevens. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I certainly hope so. Where is the little genius? She's out on the patio playing with her little brother, and that is where she is going to stay. Mrs. Peabody, I thought I made it perfectly clear that I did not want any publicity on Tabitha's so-called talent. The Scholastic Monthly is hardly Life magazine, Mrs. Stevens. The answer is still no, Mrs. Peabody. Now, if you'll excuse me, I happen to be busy. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait until class tomorrow. Tabitha is under strict orders to answer no questions except those out of the second grade reader. Good day. Good day. Okay, Adam, now catch the ball. Now throw it to me. I don't want to play anymore. Come on, Adam, throw it to me. No. I was a helper for Spy Castle. That's a dumb looking castle. That's a castle. That's impossible. 